Hi everyone, it has been a while since I have done a video of any kind, so kind of feels good to be back, I guess, or have something to say. I've been going through quite a healing process in the last few months after taking my course, and I just needed time to decompress after my son's graduation and all of those things and to help myself transition into a new way of life. And I think that quote by Adi Ashanti that I shared there, or it's a, it's a partial quote from a much longer uh, paragraph uh, quote where I found it. So I just made it into some shorter memes to show. And I think that really describes where I'm at right now is that some days I feel like I have a lot to say. And then as I shift in process, I feel like I have less to say, but it doesn't mean that I don't have something to contribute and how I'm contributing my, in my life. And I've actually enjoyed being away from social media and just posting some of the wonderful things that we've had going on with my girl's bakery and my son graduating and then myself graduating. So if you've seen any of those posts, thank you to everyone who has wished us all well and given us congratulations. So I do feel that the more you go deeper into yourself, the less sometimes you feel like you have to shout over all the noise and all the everything that's going on and that enlightenment isn't if you have to tell everyone that you're enlightened maybe you need to go a little bit deeper because enlightenment really isn't a destination it's not a place a lot of people do have profound spiritual awakenings and in the last couple of years we've actually seen that people have woken up more and more to what's going on in the world and to the corruption outside but more people need to wake up to the corruption that's going on inside because we've been part of these systems how have those beliefs that we believe from the outside world have how have they affected us inside and when you go inside more and you go deeper and you unravel all of those false beliefs you don't really need to participate as much in the outside world and social media is one of those things and it's not that any of the outside world isn't a good tool for any kind of development because you're here to have a physical experience and here to experience things and have these very physical moments and to embody more of yourself and any tool that you have is just that it's a tool it's a tool for your growth and you can use it for a lot of different things when you start to reject things or you start to you know, think that something's bad and something's good and you move into a place of judgment, then you're not really at an enlightened place. And there's been a lot going on in different spiritual communities here and I've seen it in other places where people are having these awakenings and they don't realize that there's people, and I'm one of these people, who have been actually doing this work for a really long time. And I've been awake to the corruption that's been going on. Maybe I haven't spoken about it publicly, but I was also raising my kids too. So I, you know, decided where I was going to put my time and my energy, but it doesn't mean that there's not a lot of people that weren't already aware of this. There are people who came before me that were aware of this and have been publicly speaking out for decades, like 40, 50 years already. And me adding my voice to it is important, but it's also important that if you're just waking up to it, to understand how important it is for you to go inside and to see what you're holding on to because of all of these things that are happening. The awakening happens within you and it's a continual process. It's not something that, you know, is a one-stop shop and you're all finished. So I guess I just wanted to get on there and say something about that and just to think about things a little more and I do have some ideas for some videos so I'll probably do some more regular posting over the summer um, I've been setting up my practice and uh, just doing other things I'll be attending a festival at the end of this month in July the Everth and Fire Women's Festival I'm sure you've seen me post about that so there's all kinds of things that are going on and you know of course I still have my family and you know we're visiting and our family is, is growing in some ways and yeah it's just a, a really wonderful time and I've just been taking my time to further go in and to heal myself and sometimes that's really 
what's happening with certain people, especially for those of us that have been doing this work for decades already, that we feel less and less like we need to be shouting out into the world, that we feel more the pull. And you may feel it too, that you feel the pull to go inward more and more and to discover more about yourself because that matters. That matters what your kind of energy you're gonna hold. So it matters that you do your work. It, it doesn't necessarily matter how, what the things are you're doing in the outside world those are an expression of yourself those are an extension of yourself but they are not who you are so you might find that you just feel like more and more you just want to go inside and to be quiet and have those quiet times so if that's you and that resonates that's great and yeah you can ask me questions